Google c'est une plus grosse compagnie dans le monde là. et Google est basé bien sûr dans San Francisco. Google a un pile haïtien qui a travaillé là-dedans. Et il y a deux mesdames, deux jeunes haïtiennes qui ont une initiative pour créer ça où est Google IT. Google IT, c'est une sorte de plateforme côté que réunit tout haïtien qui a travaillé dans Google à travers le monde, même bien sûr connecté avec l'autre nation qui voulait aider l'initiative là, en façon pour être capable de réfléchir ensemble comment être capable d'utiliser les outils que vous avez dans Google pour aider les pays qui c'est Haïti. Nous avons parlé avec Naïcha Silva et puis Dori Alexandre qui eux même sont co-founders Google IT. Je suis la Silicon Valley est couvert, nous ici là dans San Francisco, downtown San Francisco, by the port of San Francisco, avec deux trois amis, deux trois partenaires qui rendent définitivement visite le possible ici là, mais avec Dori à ma droite et Naïcha à ma gauche, et eux tout justement à travailler dans Google, et c'est eux même qui créent, c'est des co-founders de Google IT. Qui ça qui Google IT? Chaque fois que on monde parle de Google IT, il y a Google of course, mais il y a demandé qui ça qui Google IT. Mm-hmm. Vous peut-être penser que c'est un, un bureau que Google ouvre en IT ou du moins sur Bike Alcock. So, Donc, avec mesdames, nous ne parlons pas de mélanger anglais avec créole mm-hmm. to find out what is Google Haiti. First, je vais vous nous introduire à nous, qui est-ce que Hi Dori. Hi! <laughs> Dori Alexandre, uh, moi c'est Haïtienne qui sont à Haïti en 2001, m'habite ici à uh, Oakland, Californie. Qui ça encore? Je travaille dans Google. Je travaille Google depuis 6 ans. 6 ans. That's good. Hey. Allô? Moi, je suis Naïcha. Je suis um, haïtienne. Je suis à Washington. Et je vis là, à San Francisco. Et je travaille dans Google, ça fait à peu près 3 ans. 3 ans, justement. Moi, je moi, suis moi connecté avec nous à partir, bien sûr, de Haiti Tech Summit. Mm-hmm. Nous sommes descendus en bas, nous sommes super excités. Et puis, année après, à nous tourner, et puis nous disons, mais qui ça peut être réflexion que nous faisons dans Haiti Tech Summit maintenant Nous créons Google IT. Um, qui ça qui Google IT How do you. What's the vision? What's the yeah. mission? How do you get together to create So, I'll, I'll start with the first part. Um, I think. The first part is building community. One thing about me and Naisha being here is that as we went throughout the years, we would see a lot of Haitians. You would just meet them down the hall, or like you would just see somebody's name and you're like, that's a Haitian name. Uh, So over the years, you realize, oh, there's quite a few of us here. So part of the reason why we came together was to build a community of Haitians inside of Google first to see what can we do to share food, um, hang out with each other, maybe make plans to go to Haiti and other places and just, you know, get to know each other more. But also there's a lot of Haitians in tech. Um, There's a lot of us moving in and out of Google. So we were like, okay, we want to make sure that we do happy hours and opportunities for people to get to know each other outside of just Google. And then ultimately we would love to do more also with the Haitian community because it's one thing to build community here and because we're so far away from home, but we would love to go back and give back to Haiti just because, I mean, we have some sort of relative privilege being here. So how can we take that and bring it to to our people, our Haitian parents, families, and friends and other Haitians down there? Good. Yeah. Those thoughts came um, in Haiti or while you get, get, got back to San Francisco after the tech summit? I think a lot of it was initial inspiration while we were in Haiti, the energy that we felt, um, and also how we saw the Googlers that we brought down engaging with the country, some of them for the first time. A lot of them were Haitian but having gone to the country for the first time. um, And that energy is what was the impetus for us to continue thinking about how we can continue our momentum once we came back to San Francisco. Yeah, good. So how was the the idea um, um, evolved? Like, oh, on fond bagay, and then now, yeah, no yeah. official, yeah. no, we're not going to show the Silicon Valley, <laughs> not for a few hours, so, how about the idea you want to do? Um, do you want to talk about what we plan to do? Maybe? No, yeah, 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 for sure. So, a lot of it was around, kind of like Dory mentioned, initially creating that sense of community. Um, and once we started creating that community, we noticed that there was a lot of really um, amazing Haitians working in a lot of strong teams at Google and a lot of them wanting to leverage the resources from their teams to be able to think about how to impact the country. And once those conversations started bubbling, we thought about how we can become more unified and globally unified thinking about how we can impact the country. And that's kind of how we started looking at the resources we can leverage. And I would say a lot of people think that Google is just a search engine, but we actually have so many trainings, so many resources. And 
how powerful could it be if we brought those resources, which you already take everywhere around the world, and bring it to Haiti so people can learn how to use, how to create a website, have ads on their site to make more money, how to use YouTube and monetize it. So there's so many opportunities, both economically and just for fun that you can just use Google products for that we would love to give Haitians closer access to, to those tools and resources. It was it easy for the company to, 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 to accept like that movement that you're creating? I'm talking about like, yeah. um, it's a big corporate, uh, yeah. um, 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 big institution. Um, so how do like Google yeah. receive the Google Haiti project? I think we received a lot of support. Um, I think them seeing our national pride, I think them seeing how we've come together and been able to build a community around it, um, they've been able to support it pretty significantly. In the company. Yeah, and Google, actually inside of Google, we have a lot of those small communities. Um, most of them are called employee resource groups. So technically, you know, we're just another sort of like group of employees who are passionate about something and want to do something about it. So you see, we have over like 20 employee resource group at Google and um, we also have a 20% project program. So if you would like to give 20% of your time to any cause that you want, you can do that. So I think it's sort of like part of Google's culture to be innovative and allow employees to sort of like open doors in areas that most people may not be thinking about, true, I would say. True, true. Um, in Haiti, you did a, like a brief presentation about mm -hmm. Google Haiti last year. Yeah. And you had, you, you did basically like a, a, a focus group on different um, topics. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's going on right now? Um, did you do a follow up about that, that, that last meeting? Because I was part of it. And yeah. Uh, we really want to know what's what's going on what's there. Next? So, yeah, yeah, a lot of um, so what you're referring to is essentially yeah. doing a very small kind of focus group around um, what are the, some of the opportunities um, and strengths that Haiti has and how Google can plug in. Yeah. Um, a lot of those were really interesting insights that we've brought back internally and are thinking about how we can develop a plan for kind of making a bigger impact this year, um, and that's kind of still in a work in progress. Okay, great. So um, um, Haiti. Um, is uh, is really known as a poor country, real poor country, and um, I hate when you say that. it is what it is. So we 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 uh, yeah. we we're too rich to be poor. That's what we poor say. in some things, rich in other things. Yes, yes definitely. Amen, yeah. But also um, maybe it's a really small market for Google. Yeah. Um, so how do you think yeah. like uh, Haitian in Haiti can connect with you and make things happen? Yeah, I mean part of the way that we're trying to position this as well is that. I mean, yes, Haiti is small and seen as this poor country, but I think in, in that situation, there's so much opportunity. There is opportunity in, in diversity and the way that Haitians are that maybe you don't see in other places. So how can we tap into that different way of living um, different opportunities and build products that actually can reach those folks too? Because there's a lot of people you know, who live like people live in Haiti too, that are around the world. So being able to build a product or services that serve them, you can bring back, bring that at other places too. So I think, yes, it's small, yes, you know, it's poor, but in some places, but there's so much to discover, there's so much history, there, there's so much richness there that we, we can definitely showcase a lot more of it. Need to add something? Yeah, I was going to piggyback on that, I think, to also answer your question around how um, they can kind of reach out to us. One thing that we're trying to really focus on is we're more of a platform to amplify what is going on in Haiti. So if you're working on a project, you're working on an initiative, or you're trying to start um, a small business, reach out to us so that we can see how we can amplify what you're already doing and that being kind of the main focus of what we're trying to achieve in the country. Sure. Uh, the last time you, you, you give numbers, is like Google Haiti is not only like Googlers mm -hmm. in San Francisco, it's Googlers all over the world yeah. because um, yeah. Google is a big, big, big company. So did you get new members? Uh, how? We yeah. continue to grow every yeah. single day. Yeah. Okay. Um, it surprises me how many people reach out and say that their grandfather was Haitian or that they themselves are, are part Haitian um, and our community has grown significantly over the past couple of months. Yeah, there was a lady who reached out to me recently and she's not Haitian herself, but she adopted a young girl from Haiti and she was like, I want her to be around Haitians, yeah. you know? So even people who are not, you know, Haitians themselves, they see an opportunity to maybe bring themselves closer to what's going on. There's another person who um, has done projects in other places and 
they've always looked at going to Haiti. So they're like, well, how can I help? I have some skills I can bring to the table. Let me know how I might be able to plug into some of your efforts and then I'll go with you and, and do something there. What we've also found is that this has also been a stepping ground for just Caribbeans at Google. Yes. Um, a lot of Caribbeans at Google are starting to come to join forces with us and seeing how yeah. what we're doing eventually can impact the Caribbean yeah, region as a whole. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the happy hour. Um, um, yes. Congrats, by the way, you put that together. And uh, one of the main comment that I got was like, "Oh, c'est la première fois moi tout haïtien ça on se côté because uh, by the way, c'est nous on dit haïtien moi ici classé pour aller chercher aussi pour quand venir sur etc. But um, nous fell in parce que it was a great moment uh, mm -hmm. for you. So parlez nous de la classe happy hour. Yeah, it's been I think it's been a work in progress here. I mean, I've been here six years, so I've seen the community grow and come together more closely. I actually remember uh, Nancy used to host like some small gatherings of like 10, 15 people at her house. So even to, I think that's why she remembers those yeah. days and to see this amount of Google, uh, people just coming together has been great. I think it's a work in progress. I think the more people know about us, yeah. the more people are willing to come out and, and, and make the extra step. I know people drove from really far yeah. on Friday to attend the happy hour. So it's more about getting the word out. Uh, the more connected we are, the more we have these events, hopefully. Uh, people will hear about us. Um, the more we partner with, you know, different uh, organizations in Haiti underground who are telling the story, people can tell their families out here that we are here. So hopefully, um, over time, people will know more about us, and we can help connect the community. Okay, I wanna, I, I wanna switch a bit the conversation, yes. like let me keep it Google like it's on the class. Okay. To talk about the life in San Francisco Aviation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, tout monde qui fait interview avec un palais, un palais de ça avec you. Et par exemple, soit Jimmy for experience dernièrement, là nos restaurants, elle arrive dans menu, on a drink you, you drink drink, you fait avec Baron Cool, il manque de l'ambre dans le restaurant, etc. So, how is life as Haitian? Um, nous vraiment far from 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 home. Um, et nous na nous na nous dans l'autre extrémité, à nous à l'ouest, c'est pas comme si, pas comme si nous en Europe ou bien nous en Asie, etc. So comment nous, comment nous vivons ici, comment nous rester connecté avec Haïti? Personal questions. Yeah. Um, actually, a lot of my friends are Haitian here, because I think wherever I go, I seek out that community. Um, so I like out of all my friends, they either Haitian or they're other Caribbean folks. So my circle generally, that's what it looks like. Uh, so that's one way I stay close to the community. I go back to Haiti every year since, I think since 2010 or 20, 2009, I've been going once a, year. once a year to go back. My dad still lives there, my aunt still lives there. I still have family there, so I go and visit. So I stay close, I stay close and I try not to forget it and I try to remind myself um, about all the great things about Haiti because I feel like it keeps me grounded. Um, because when I go home, I'm reminded that you can be happy with very little. You know, because I see it all the time. I see my dad, I see my family just being like, I don't need all that. Yeah. So I think I go home every year just to remind myself, like, you're good, okay? Yeah. You're good, you can be happy with everything that you have right now. Yeah. yeah. I think similar to her, I think naturally the Haitian community in San Francisco is small, smaller than most other um, cities. But I think there's some, there's a beauty to it being small and intimate, right? I think you take it less for granted. Yeah. Um, and I think you put a lot more energy and a lot more, um, power towards keeping it together and kind of building those relationships a lot stronger than you would let's say if it was saturated and a little bit more common um, so I think that's actually an advantage that can be perceived as a disadvantage to how we've been able to maintain such a strong relationship with the Haitians here that was good yeah all right but but um, maybe the, the Google Haiti project like give you more time to focus on Haiti too yeah. um, Maybe in the past years it was like, yeah, I go visit, I can talk. Mm -hmm. What's like a pass it up here and take you get the yeah, views? Yeah. But now you, you really mean, you really have like a a, a common interest yeah. about the country and Absolutely. how the country evolves. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, any last word? Any last announcement about Google Haiti? Maybe if you have, a, how can people contact you like directly? Are you are you online? Do you have a website? A email? Tell tell us about that. Hmm. Because I just got off all social media, so I don't know, Naisha. 
Um, well, it's probably um, good to say that a lot of our Google Haiti presence, as probably have noticed, has been um, not as public. I think yeah. that's something that we are um, kind of just navigating from an, a corporate standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't have any external social media, any external followings for um, intentionally. Yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> um, but um, Google Haiti at Google.com is, okay. is kind of our email. And if okay. you're interested in reaching out to us, you yeah. can feel free to do so. Um, otherwise, obviously, through you and yeah. our content. And I think, I mean, if you are Haitian or a friend of Haiti and you're in any industry, really, and you, you know, you want to help, you know, brainstorm some opportunities to do here or maybe go back to Haiti and do, we're open to just listening and hearing and seeing what resources we may have. Like, we may not have all the answers, but we may know some folks or maybe be able to connect you. But anyone, entrepreneurs, artists, anything like especially if you're like an artist and you do like Haitian anything yep. please let us know because we definitely want to showcase um, what you do even internally at Google Perfect. and one awesome example to that is when we had gone to Haiti last summer uh, we were able to film uh, one of the women entrepreneurs down on the ground um, she's the founder of Creation Doré um, and we were able to showcase the story of how she's leveraging Google products and services to be able to amplify her business and the objective with that is to be able to educate and sh share knowledge with other entrepreneurs on the ground on how they can also amplify their businesses through Google. And those are the types of um, show showing spotlights yeah. that we would like to continue doing. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely reach out to us so that we can spotlight you. Perfect. That's good. It was great having that conversation with you. <laughs> I hope we can definitely talk more, yeah. but you have your schedule, I have my schedule. Yes. And yeah. if I have one one last question okay. um, about like San Francisco. Okay. What's maybe your favorite thing to do in San Francisco? My mm. favorite thing to do. When you have free time, where do, where do you go? What do you do? Oh gosh, you wanna <laughs> go first, Naisha? <laughs> well, I would say um, salsa dancing. Salsa dancing. There's actually a I really salsa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pretty strong salsa dancing community, NSF proper. Oh, um, and so if you're ever back in town, I'll definitely take you out. Our, our next spotlight would be me. Doing, you, uh, teaching, teaching you a few steps. Yes. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that about her. <laughs> what do I do on weekend? I love going to Napa. Okay. That's one of my favorite things yes. to do ever. Napa's great. You we know, really good. Yeah, so Napa and then Point Reyes, so they have oysters. And I love oysters. So typically, drive to um, Point Reyes, get some oysters, and then drive to Napa, have wine. oysters and wine, and then like I'm set. That's it. That's yeah. good. All right, mesdames, merci pile. Thank you. Merci. Merci parce que nous supportez l'initiative. Ça me souhaite un bon succès avec Google IT. Merci. Et vous savez que ma ton partenaire pour nous. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Vous voulez un jambon? Kaidé ou? Oui. Pas qu'un cash. Posez frère, quoi j'ai autorisé Soge Easy là? Ouvrez compte Soge Easy Paula dans ce qui sale Soge Bank qui pibre au là. Passez qu'à tout, mettez un brin tout et puis tapez quand il y a quoi vous besoin. En vont badge au quoi vous n'en mettez un Easy Easy. Soge Easy, Soge Easy Easy, Soge Bank Badaille un nouveau service. Hey hey, ça vient à côté pas une Soge Easy. Soje Easy, yon compte express Soje Bank pour la vie au plus facile.